Well, hey everybody, back with a, uh, another little project here. Um, so I'm thinking it's been a couple of years that I uh, did a conversion on a golf cart where I switched out the uh, uh, six six volt batteries and went with three deep cycle 12s. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, um, the batteries had lots of power, but the problem was is I was kind of misled into thinking that you could use the original charger. Um, I know there's some uh, other videos on here where people uh, say that you can or claim that that they have, but I can tell you what happened in this case was that um, unless the charger is malfunctioning, I, and that could be a possibility, but we only got about a year and a half out of these batteries and it literally just fried them. Um, <clears throat> so, needless to say, we're uh, we're doing this one more time and uh, technology has changed once again where this is what's going in it. We've got a single 36 volt, well they're saying 38.4 volt. And this is a 50 amp hour. Um, I debated between the 50 and the 100 amp hour battery. Um, but at any rate I also bought the charger that is made to go with this so that I know that um, I'm not going to damage this battery and uh, these are the three deep cycles that I had in there and they're absolutely completely ruined so <clears throat> I've got to make some modifications inside here uh, to set that new battery but it's going to be so nice just having one battery I mean the weight alone um, is just going to equate to the car being able to more move more easily uh, meaning less less voltage you know draw on the battery to make it go. I think I read that the difference between this battery and if you just went straight from having three six uh, or having the six six volt batteries to this one lithium phosphorus battery that um, it was going to be like a 300 pound difference in weight. I mean that's huge. So anyways this is not my cart um, but this is my old cart right here it's a gas powered easy go. Uh, this is my neighbor's cart that I've been working on uh, that I did the work on a couple years ago and I felt bad that you know they only got that much use out of it so uh, yeah I decided to uh, bring it over here this spring uh, and uh, make it right so that's the direction I'm going was with this uh, single 36 volt lithium um, what are they calling it it's a lithium lithium ion phosphorus so um, got a good battery got the matching charger axe I have it hooked up right now um, I know they only ship these at about half charge and uh, so getting it charged up and then I also got this which I thought would be pretty cool um, this is going to be a, a battery monitor uh, it comes with um, it's it's snapped into this little metal bracket right now but uh, what's cool about it is is you can snap the bracket off and it's got the the clips right here on either side so you can cut the hole in the dash and have it snap in or they even sent a uh, piece of double-sided sticky tape if you wanted to do that but I'm gonna mount this in the dash here somewhere and uh, got to run the wires back to the battery uh, there's a little bit of programming to do to it when you first hook it up but after that um, yeah it'll be kinda nice just to be able to look down and know how much charge she has and uh, you know more importantly for her uh, you know when it needs charged um, I'm reading that these these batteries are rated for about 4,000 cycles or up to 10 years which I mean you do the math I mean you can put this on the charger every day if you wanted to um, which I, I it's not going to see that kind of use where it's going to need that much charging but you could put it on every day and still be doing that for up to 10 years uh, honestly if you get half that I, I would be ecstatic but uh, time will tell so anyways I'm gonna pull this out tomorrow in the sunshine get everything out of the garage and I'll turn the video cameras back on and I'll uh, um, bring some of the installation to you but that's what's happening right now all right, guys. I'm back with an update here on the uh, golf cart project. Um, 
made out pretty good today it's really cold I did most of the work in the garage um, still got more to go I wanted to show you what I've done here though is uh, here's the uh, the new lithium phosphorus battery um, got it all put in and uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but I took up the space with a 2 before back here and a piece of plywood here and uh, well, let me go around the other side there you can have a better look at that and then I put this strap on here uh, so the strap has it cinched down it can't uh, it can't really go anywhere now and then this is the uh, the charging uh, connector connection that came with the brand new charger and I was trying to come up with a way to uh, keep from uh, having to have the seat up or take the seat off or prop the seat up and I didn't want them hanging out the edge where they could get pinched eventually and wear through so what I ended up doing there was I put a, uh, a cord grip I drilled a hole put a cord grip put the end in here I don't think I think with time it's going to want to sag down like this and it's going to be you know pretty much out of your way of your feet um, but this is going to make it so much easier just to be able to hook the charger in uh, charge the battery without it ever even getting in Wow I'm pretty sure you guys can hear all this wind this is horrible um, but I'll try to get you through some of this so here is the the brand new um, smart battery monitor and uh, I just uh, I, I laid out the area where it needed to go and see if I can get you a shot here um, just cut a square started with drilling a hole and uh, then I used my jigsaw and I cut the square out and it's got the snap-in prongs uh, so if you cut the hole the right size and you snap it in you can hear them click it's not going anywhere it's supposed to be water resistant um, I'm glad I took this panel out to do it this way because I found some of these connections were loose so these wires right here uh, are going to end up going to the battery and as you can see they're nowhere near long enough to do that and I have nothing here in the panel that's 36 volt so what I'm going to do is and I don't have the stuff right here to do it but I've got to get wires long enough to feed through this existing uh, uh, wire protector here and feed them all the way back to uh, I think you'll be able to see it on this side yeah right here's where that comes into play so if I can feed them back and bring them out here then I'll uh, I'll crimp some eyelets on the wires add those to these and then they'll be um, you'll be able to monitor the battery I think it's going to be pretty slick um, it has to be programmed when you first hook it up, um, but it has a power on and off button, um, so it will stay powered up if you forget to shut that off. Um, that's really the only downside to this one versus the kind that, um, you know, light up off of the key switch. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, when I get that hooked up, I'll bring, bring you a little video on that as well. But I just came back from taking this thing for a little ride. get over how quiet this thing is I mean I know all electric carts are but all I've ever had is gas carts and uh, so it's actually pretty nice to cruise around and just hear the whine of the motor a little bit or the tires on the gravel or the ground and uh, just kind of going up over this little hill here just to see how it does pretty soft so I'm not going to get too crazy with it with these tires on but oh yeah lots and lots of power to come up over here nice
Oh, I think she's going to be really pleased with this. That's about as fast as it would probably go any other way. Don't really have anything to compare it to, but... here and call it a day and uh, so far so good so what I have noticed though is it you must have to let the battery charge up some of the uh, the uh, electrical components because each time that I've had the battery unhooked and then I hooked it back up again it doesn't want to go um, but if you let it sit then you can stop and go forward backwards as much as you want to. Um, so that actually happened twice and both times it was when I had the battery unhooked and then rehooked it back up again. Um, it's going to take a little while to find out you know just how much use this 50 amp battery 50 amp hour battery is going to uh, you know how long it's going to last depending on how much she uses the cart but I don't think there's going to be any given day where she could possibly run this down um, and uh, like I say, the beauty of it is, is you know, the longevity of these batteries is that uh, they have a tremendous uh, amount of cycle uh, or charges that you can put into them. And um, yeah, I think it's just really, really going to be the game changer. And losing all that that weight that was in there just makes the cart lighter, and uh, that ought to equate to you know more usage. So, anyways, it's cold, it's windy, it's sprinkling. I'm going to go ahead and gather up my some of my stuff and I'm going to uh, call today. Yeah, I'm going to go in, get warmed up, have a little lunch, and get ready to go go to work. So I'll, uh, I'll turn the camera back on once I've uh, got the wire that I need to feed through that wire harness and um, get the uh, indicator hooked up and uh, we'll bring you an update at that time. Hey guys, back with the uh, final installment on how this project went and uh, I'm really super pleased with it. Um, it's, uh, it's all done and uh, logged a lot of running on it. Battery's holding up good and it's show, showing no signs of needing charged anytime soon. So I'll show you what I ended up here with. Um, I can't remember on the last video if I showed how I, how I did this, um, but uh, I think that's gonna be just fine. And the last thing I was, let me walk around here to this side. I think the last thing I was working on was this. And you see you got the voltage reading there. Unfortunately, this is always going to read 100. And the instruction said that it will do that if you don't program it. Well, the problem is, is to program it, you have to have what's known as, you have to enter the number of strings in your battery which is basically cells that are in series and this battery unfortunately has four parallels in one series and when you go into the program mode it starts with three as a minimum so without being able to make that number a one it goes from three strings up to 26 strings 
but without being able to make it a one, um, the gauge is never going to really read right. Um, I did get it to read something other than 100 if I put a 12 in there. Um, I know it doesn't have 12 strings, but there are 12 cells, and um, I, it just didn't seem like it was accurate at all. So, anyways, unfortunately, like I said, that's you know the battery temperature part works and the voltage, which is the most important thing probably. Um, I was able to go in and I set the minimum voltage for 30, the maximum voltage for 43. Um, and on either one of those cases, if it drops below or above those settings, you'll get an alarm. Um, just to let you know, I'm pretty sure that you're going to notice that it needs charged well before it gets uh, to 30 volts. So, um, yeah, I, I rode it around after I aired up the tires and couldn't have been more pleased with it. Uh, brought it over here to my, uh, to my aunt and uh, returned it back to her and um, she hasn't got to use it a lot and we've been having some pretty crappy weather but um, yeah I, I know she uh, you know her and I had it out the day I brought it over and then I know she's had it out at least once since then and uh, you know the voltage is reading 39.8 um, which is still you know above the 36 uh, volt system that you know basically can operate you know quite a few volts below and above 36 um, when you take it off the charger it's nearly it's like 42.2 when they're fully charged so yeah just overall just super pumped about this um, turned out really well she's got her charger just sitting here in the uh, passenger side of the dash and uh, this is the uh, hitch that I made uh, for it and I took the uh, red trailer ball that I had uh, mounted on her lawn tractor for her and moved it over here to her golf cart because I'm sure she's going to uh, want to come up and you know snag one of my little trailers uh, when she's got some yard work or something to do and she'd much rather use the cart to do that than uh, you know the lawn tractor so anyways I'm just really pumped about um, you know uh, the zero maintenance part of this uh, lithium iron phosphate battery and uh, you know the charger works awesome um, there's no heat there's no smell there's no nothing I mean everything about it is just just perfect so um, yeah I'm gonna give this uh, this project a thumbs up minus the uh, not realizing uh, about the different strings to program into some of these um, uh, multi-voltage uh, meters and um, well, it is what it is for now. So, all right, guys. Until I, uh, I'm on here with another project. I'll leave you with this, and uh, you know, feel free to comment. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It uh, means a lot to me. So, we'll see you later.